Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the differences between client, company code, and business area. We have talked about client before. You have SAP installations, and within each SAP installation, you can create multiple clients so that you can use each client for different purposes. So, client could act as virtual machines within the physical machine, each being used for different purposes. Okay? Then we talked about financial accounting enterprise structure and we also talked about that this is something very important and all modules depend on this structure and company code is an element within this structure. Now what is the relationship between the company code and the client? That's what we're going to focus in this tutorial beside other things. So SAP installation could have multiple clients okay, and each client could have multiple organization units. okay. Now, data entered at the client level is visible through all organization units. For example, exchange rates. So all common data is entered at the client level. This is how SAP is design, designed so that data is not duplicated uh, across organization units. Now, each client maintain its own master record okay, in the database. Not only that, it maintains its own sets of tables in the database. Okay, so they are, data is really segregated at the client level. When user logs into the system, user uh, login is validated at the client level as well. So user must have an entry in the master data at that client. Okay. Now, we're talking about organization units, that each client has multiple organization units. What are organization units? So orga organization units are basically two types, company code and business area. So this is how your company code fits into the picture. And we have been talking about company code before as well, that this is an important part of the uh, financial structure. Now, company code is created for external reporting, and optionally, you can create business areas mainly for internal reporting. You don't report business area uh, reports created against business areas to the external world. So that's what the company code is for. Okay. Now, company code is mainly is representing the legal entity. Legal entity is a company that is registered with the government. Okay, and by law in most countries, you have to uh, create a uh, representation in your ERP software so that financial reports could be produced at the company level. Okay, uh, so that's what the company code is for. You create financial reports uh, at, company at company level uh, by creating this company code in SAP. Now, in case of a global company, company that uh, spans uh, across multiple countries, uh, you have to create a uh, company code for each country because of the uh, legal requirements. Most likely that com company is facing different legal requirements in Canada as opposed to USA. So we have to break that main global company down into multiple small companies, uh, one for each country. Now business area are created for internal reporting. Okay, and uh, they represent a unit for which you want to produce financial statements, a unit other than legal entities. For example, uh, if you have a company and the company has multiple departments and you want to create financial statements like income statements or balance uh, balance sheet, etc. If you, you want to produce financial reports for each department, then you can create business area uh, for each of those departments, okay? So that you can create financial reports for each department. or you can, if you want to create financial reports for each line of business, for example, uh, you have maybe five companies in your uh, organization and, uh, in you, and each company is dealing with, let's say, 10 line of businesses and not only you want to produce financial reports for each company, but you also want to produce financial reports for each line of business. Then you can create business area representing line of businesses, okay? So this is something uh, business area concept is something very flexible and you can use it for any unit against which you want to produce financial statements. Okay, so use of business area is totally optional. Here's an example of divisional reporting. This is company one, let's say, and this company has two departments, yellow and green. And you can produce financial reports at the company level because this company is registered and this company has a company code and this is a legal entity, so uh, we can produce financial reports for companies anyway, right? So that's not a problem. So we can produce a financial report at the company level. 
But what if you want to produce a financial reporting at the divisional level as well? As so, what we're going to do is uh, we can produce, we can create two business area, one representing a yellow division and one representing green division. Okay, and you can take the same concept in terms of department as well. You can create. Uh, one business area for green department and one for the uh, yellow department okay so this is one use of business area and if you do like one-to-one -one implementation of company and business area that doesn't really make sense and uh, it's, it's, it's defeating the whole point concept of uh, having business area right so this is a wrong implementation if you do th like that now here is another good example of cross company uh, biz business areas let's suppose you're you, d you have two line of businesses you sell uh, computers and you sell let's say services uh, consulting services okay and you have two companies and both companies do the same thing maybe one company is in Canada and one in America or maybe they're, they're within the same country but they're two different companies you can produce financial reports for company one and company two without any problem because they are already registered as legal entities they have the company codes in the system but what if you want to produce financial reports for each line of business separately? How, how did you do for consulting services and how did you do by selling uh, computers? Okay, So you need to find out how well you, both your line of business are doing. So you can create one business area for uh, let's say your line of business one and another one business area for your line of business two. Okay, So now th uh, this is like cross company business areas all the transactions that belonging to your business area your line of business one they're gonna go to your business area one from both the companies and all transactions belonging to your line of business two they're gonna go in business area two as well from both the companies okay so this is another example of the use of business area so in this tutorial the point was to explain you the differences between uh, company code and uh, the uh, client and the business areas okay so just keep these concepts in mind uh, they will come handy in uh, coming tutorials when we're going to start doing the actual implementation of our company in the system okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i see you in my next tutorial